and thank you so much for joining me for this week's Celebrate Wonder Bible video. We are in the season of Lent, and remember that Lent is a time of preparation for Easter and a time to focus on growing closer to God. During this Lenten season, we're going to be hearing stories from Jesus's life and the days leading up to Easter. Last week, we heard about the Last Supper, and this week's Bible story will pick up right after the Last Supper. This week, I'm reading from the Deep Blue Kids Bible, the Celebrate Wonder Edition. And this week's Bible reading is from the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 36 to 46. In the garden, after supper, Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. Jesus said to the disciples, stay here while I go and pray over there. He took Peter and Zebedee's two sons with him, and Jesus began to feel sad and anxious. Jesus said to them, I'm very sad. It's as if I'm dying. Stay here and keep alert with me. Then Jesus went a short distance farther and fell on his face and prayed. My father, if it's possible, take this cup of suffering away from me. However, not what I want, but what you want. Jesus came back to the disciples and found them sleeping. He said to Peter, couldn't you stay alert one hour with me? Stay alert and pray so that you won't give in to temptation. A second time, Jesus went away and prayed. My father, if it's not possible that this cup be taken away unless I drink it, then let it be what you want. Again, Jesus came and found the disciples sleeping. Jesus left them again and went and prayed the same words for the third time. Then Jesus came back to his disciples and said, Will you sleep and rest all night? Look, the time for my arrest has come. Get up, let's go. Look, here comes my betrayer. To go along with this week's Bible reading, I have three discussion questions that you can use to talk about the reading with your family. Question one. What do you do when you feel sad or afraid? Question two, when do you pray? Question three, why do you pray? Take some time this week and discuss those questions with your family. In this week's Bible story, we see some of Jesus's humanity, his humanness. We see that Jesus felt some very human emotions. Do you remember how Jesus felt in the garden? He felt sad, afraid, and anxious. We all feel like that sometimes. What did Jesus do when he felt like that? He took some friends with him and then he went and prayed to God. This is a reminder to all of us that whenever we feel sad, anxious, or worried, we can always pray and turn to God. God will always be there to listen to us and help us through whatever we are going through. Now, what is just as important as Jesus turning to God when he felt sad are the words that Jesus used. Jesus wanted his suffering to be taken away. And Jesus prayed that to God, saying, please take my suffering away. But then what did Jesus say? Jesus followed that up with, but if that can happen, thy will be done. You will do it as you see fit, God. And Jesus realized that it is God's will that will be done. Jesus knew that God will answer his prayers in God's own way. It won't be exactly how Jesus wanted, but it will be how God knows is best. This is a reminder to all of us that sometimes our prayers aren't answered the way we're expecting. We might want an answer in a certain way or at a certain time. But God's answers come on God's time and in God's way. This doesn't mean that God isn't listening. It just means that God's will is being done. God hears our prayers and God is listening. God always hears our prayers. So from this week's Bible story, we learn two important lessons about prayer. The first one being that when we feel sad, anxious, or upset, we can turn to God in prayer. In fact, that's what God wants us to do. 
lay everything out to God and wait for God's answer. Which leads us to the second lesson about prayer. God won't always answer our prayers in the way that we expect, but God does hear our prayers and will answer them as God's will will be done. This week's craft is called Feelings in the Garden. What I want you to do is think about the different feelings that you heard during the Bible story. Some of the feelings I heard were sadness, anger, frustration, anxiety, worry, sleepiness, and comfort. Think about which one of those feelings, or maybe another feeling, jumped out to you the most. Which one really stood out to you? Once you have that feeling in mind, I want you to draw that on a picture. What I did for mine is I took a piece of paper in the top I wrote in the garden and then Matthew 26 verses 36 to 46 to remind me where this Bible verse can be found. And the emotion that stood out to me in this week's story is worry. It was so surprising to me that even Jesus worried. I know that all of us worry, but Jesus worried too. Jesus did worry. But this also reminds me that even though Jesus worried, Jesus turned to God during his time of worry, which is a reminder to me to do the same. So I drew a picture of Jesus feeling worried, and then I also drew what I thought the garden might look like. And I made it nighttime. I drew the moon and some stars because I knew it was after supper and they were in the garden at nighttime. Your picture is probably going to look much different than mine, but think about the feeling that stood out to you and then draw it on a piece of paper. I hope you enjoy this week's craft. Please join me in a word of prayer. Dear God, during the season of Lent, please prepare our minds, our hearts, and our bodies to do your work. Help us to connect with you so that we can connect with others. God, thank you so much for today's reminder that we can always turn to you, no matter what we are feeling, and that you will always listen and respond to us. God, forgive us those times when we are impatient or ungrateful, when we feel like our prayers haven't been heard or answered the way we want it, and remind us that it is your will that will be done. God, this week we pray for some very special people. We pray for anyone who's sick in the hospital, recovering from illness or injury. God, we pray for anyone who's grieving or sad or lonely. Please lift up all of these people and surround them with your love and grace. God, we ask you to watch over all of us and all of our friends and family until we meet together again. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me for this week's Celebrate Wonder Bible lesson. We are halfway through Lent, and I hope you are taking some time this Lent to work on growing a closer relationship to God. One way you can do this is through prayer. Maybe during Lent, you'll find a new time to say prayer. Maybe at mealtimes, like we talked about last week, first thing in the morning, or last thing before bed. Or maybe during Lent, you'll find a different way to pray through a breath prayer, a movement prayer, a silent prayer, or a prayer out loud. Or maybe you're working on your own way of growing closer to God. Prayer is one way to grow closer to God, but there are many other ways, and I'm sure you're finding your own way to grow closer to God this Lenten season. I hope you have an excellent week, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye!